Professor Arundhi Paluvalia, who's a geologist, is uh, joining me live from uh, Gurugram as we bring you this uh, live uh, coverage. Thank you, Mr. Aluvalia, for joining us. As a geologist, what is your number one expectation when it comes to this mission, uh, especially the experiments that the rover will uh, carry out on the lunar surface of the moon in the, uh, uh, after the soft uh, landing? What, are your, what is that one big expectation that you have today? You see, for a geologist uh, to touch a rock and look at it uh, is, is the most important operation. And for me, this uh, instrument is, is the geologist, is the virtual geologist there. Uh, it, whatever it is doing, it is, I feel that uh, it's doing on my behalf the observation, the collection, touching the rock, looking at it, and transmitting the images. Um, say, yes, there, is, there is no substitute to this process of scientific observation. It's a, it's a great feeling that uh, uh, our, our uh, instrument is there to do a job on behalf of all geologists uh, of the world of the world, not just this country. It's a, it's a great feeling. 50 years back, I was a student of BSc Geology when man had landed on moon about a month before uh, in 69. And uh, there were no televisions. Uh, there was only a transistor telling the story. And there was a huge crowd listening to that uh, experience. Today, uh, it's a great nostalgia for that uh, first moment of uh, landing on the moon. And uh, today, this this uh, this six-legged uh, creature is the geologist on moon, which India has managed to send. Uh, I am presuming it is, it is already there. I'm feeling as if it is already there. I'm not uh, at all waiting for it to happen. I'm sure it's happened. That's a very, very interesting uh, way to put it, uh, uh, Mr. Aluwalia. You are to you're, you're calling Pragyan the rover, the virtual geologist on the moon. And like you were saying, that there is no substitute to scientific uh, exploration. Now, we've been seeing, uh, we've been following the journey of Chandrayaan 2 to the moon over the last uh, 48 uh, days. And today, the entire world probably is watching us with envy because we're set to do what no other country has dared to do. We also know the significance of the South Polar region of the moon and uncharted territory, um, untouched by the the rays of the moons and also the minerals and um, the minerals and the resources that probably uh, could lead uh, uh, and the study of which could probably lead uh, to another sort of a milestone in space exploration so what we've been also seeing is that isro has been asking um, a lot of people Surely. That, yes and uh, and we've also been seeing what isro has been asking one simple question and that is probably a question in everybody's mind and today what do you have to uh, what do you think what will uh, the rover find on the South Polar region of the moon. See, it's a, it is going to be a huge spectrum of information which will come, a huge spectrum. You cannot always uh, uh, say, uh, count it in, in advance, but what I can see, it will tell about the water, it will tell mm -hmm. about the rocks, and what is the most important, it will tell about the water history. Uh, it's, a, it's not the recent water, there's no rain there. Right. It is the pristine water which has been there since billions of years, mm -hmm. a few billions of years. And, and the rocks, the, the moon has the evidences of the origin, the pre original rocks uh, which are formed on the moon are there as such because there is no atmosphere. It has not been weathered at all. It is in its original form. All the rocks on the earth have got changed. Either they have got weathered or they have got metamorphosed. So moon gives you uh, clues. All right, so we just seem to have lost that connection with uh, Mr. Aluwalia, who's a geologist. Uh, who's, he was joining us uh, from Gurugram. Very interesting points there made, and th those are the kind of expectations. For a geologist, he says that uh, Rova Pragyan, in fact, is the virtual geologist that will carry out the experiments on uh, the moon, and with, there's a lot of anticipation when it comes to what the findings are going to be. We will keep you updated and get you those voices all through the day as we build up to the moon landing moment today.
uh, the countdown clock is on your screen in a little over eight hours from now. Eight hours, 28 minutes to be precise. Uh, will be that moment the entire country is watching. We're going to broadcast live. Stay with Republic. <laughs>